Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this vlog. As you can maybe recognize from my background, today I am in Amsterdam. Today's main goal is to visit the famous Anne Frank house. I am an expat from Finland and I've lived in Netherlands for already over two years, but I have still never visited the Anne Frank house. So today's main goal is to visit it. I have booked a time slot in advance for it. So I'm looking forward to it, even though it's maybe not the most cheerful thing to visit, but but still. Mistake to film my intro by a spot with one of these colorful bikes because I thought this was a calm spot with no one, but no, there keeps being tourists coming to take pictures with the bike. But that's Amsterdam for you. If you want a really calm destination with not a lot of people, then maybe you should look into some other city than Amsterdam. Other than the Anne Frank house, I'm planning on visiting some vintage shops because Amsterdam is very famous for having a bunch of really nice and cool vintage shops and I've never really been to many of them or very briefly if I have. I love the atmosphere of vintage shops, it's somehow cool. Yeah, also to just walk around enjoy the atmosphere here in Amsterdam and uh, now for the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna go and have some brunch. The spot where I want to have brunch is a very popular spot. It's called Greenwoods here on the single. They have multiple locations, but I think this location is the most popular slash famous one because of its very central location but they are very popular. It's now a Tuesday, so not even weekend, and there's a waiting list. They put my name on the list and they said it's about a 15 minute wait. So that's not too bad, but yeah, I don't mind. The view here is lovely. It's right by the canal, so I don't mind to wait. The food's supposed to be really, really good there, so I'm excited. The brunch I just had was amazing, the food was really really good, the service was really nice. It's a small place but really cozy and they were playing like these old 2010 bangers and the waitresses were like singing along and I don't know, there was just a really nice atmosphere to the place. So if you're in Amsterdam or planning to visit Amsterdam and want to go to a place with a nice brunch and on a very central spot by the canals, but this is a central spot but it's not like Red Light District or anything like that, it's an actually nice area, then you should definitely check out Greenwood's single. Or or I'm sure the other locations are also really nice. Now the plan is to visit vintage shops. Right next to the restaurant, there's already one really big vintage shop called Episode. It's huge. Do you guys think I could rock a jacket like this? <laughs> I love the colorfulness, but not really my style, maybe.
We have now arrived to the Anne Frank House. It's right over here. If you've never been here, you might be quite surprised about what the building looks like. It's not like just a typical Dutch house. It's a full-on museum that looks quite modern, actually. There's a lot of people here, even for Tuesday, <laughs> because this is Amsterdam. It is always a lot of people, but yeah. Let's go and check it out. So, if you don't know the history behind this place, Anne Frank was a young Jewish girl who hid together with her family from the German troops here in this building located inside the museum. Anne's story became famous because of a diary she wrote while hiding here. Unfortunately, you are not allowed to film or take pictures inside the actual museum. But in a way, it was nicer that way, without everyone having their phones out. The price to visit the museum for an adult is 16 euros. The tour includes an audio tour and it took me one hour to go through the place. Keep in mind that it can get quite crowded and that there are some very narrow staircases as well. So the museum tour is now over and unfortunately it is raining. And you would think after living here for over two years, I would have learned to always bring my umbrella, but no, I haven't. <laughs> Right next to the Anne Frank house, you can also find this church that is free of entrance. While you're visiting, you might as well come here as well. came into a bookstore in order to try and escape from the rain a bit. I am drenched. When you're in the Netherlands, please, 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 always have an umbrella with you. I should try and remember this myself.
As you can probably see from the background, I am back home now. It started to get a bit too cold and rainy, so I didn't feel like staying much longer and decided to come home. But I wanted to do a bit of a haul of what I bought. I didn't buy super much, so I actually only bought one thing from the thrift shops, and it was this oversized Calvin Klein t-shirt. It's a nice basic to have and it's like a bit bigger so it goes over the butt and you can almost wear it as a well maybe not as a dress but it's a very cozy shirt to wear at home or just like as a basic or for working out and then i went to that shop that sold funny socks and there were so many socks i wanted to buy but i decided i will allow myself one pair and i bought these octopus socks and that's because i have this weird obsession with octopuses i love them it's one of my favorite animals ever so when i saw these i had to get them and then i bought three books <laughs> i wasn't supposed to buy that many i was supposed to buy one specific book and i did not buy that book but i bought three other books instead i bought this really new book that has only come out like now pretty much called influential and then i bought this really popular romance book that i've been wanting to read called the love hypothesis and then i bought this fiction book that i've heard good things about called my year of rest and relaxation not that much one shirt three books and a pair of socks i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you enjoyed joining me on this pretty cozy day in Amsterdam today. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!